all my clothes are falling off. <laughs> All right, guys, this is really weird. I'm over in uh, in Belden Village here in Canton at what used to be the Perkins. Now, I have a really strange history with this place because um, one night I drove by here, or one day I drove by here, and I swear it was abandoned. So Richard Wolf and I were out filming uh, at night, and I said, hey, the Perkins is abandoned, let's go over there. So we came over here just to find out it wasn't abandoned, it was fully functional. So I don't know what happened there, but this seems to be almost the same thing right here because I just pulled up, um, they've got a big blue tarp <laughs> around the Perkins sign here. And then they have like the sign up on the front here has a tarp on it. It appears to be abandoned. However, on the front, wait a minute, look. Even the signs pulling in are covered with tarps. Look at that. However, the sign says, Gilded Griddle, new name, same great stuff. And up on the front here, it says, we're open. What in the world is going on with this place? <laughs> My damn pants are falling down. <laughs> Anyways, I came up here to the door to see if they factually were open and when I try the door it is locked So the door is locked and now we have a sign up here. Sorry for any inconvenience. This Perkins is closed and It's signed the entire Perkins and Gilded Griddle staff So once again, it appears that it is closed down however also, inside, I noticed the lights are on. Let's take a peek inside and see if there's anyone in there. There is nobody in there, but look, the lights are on. This is just the weirdest thing. So, did Perkins close down and then become the Gilded Griddle? And then they also shut down? And if so, what was the purpose? What was the reasoning for that? This is just the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Well, maybe not ever. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I mean, everything's... Uh, well, I don't know if I want to say everything's shut down in there, but everything's empty. I mean, there's nothing in the cases there. There's no people inside. The lights are on. Let's go around the other door here for a minute. Yeah, same sign up there. What is this? Is this another Explorer's card? No, some crap. Anyway. All right, if I can keep my pants from falling off while I'm walking around here, I've been losing so much weight. All my clothes are falling off. <laughs> this is what it looks like from the side here. I think that's funny, that giant blue tarp on the sign out there. That's just funny. Hmm, a couple of cartons back here. Let's go in the trash area for a minute. Just for the heck of it, see if there's anything back here. Nothing at all. I'm not gonna look in the dumpster. Boy, is this greasy back here, dang. All right, let's go around the other side here. Let's look in these windows over here. Yeah, I mean, the lights are on over here too. I mean, in the whole place. That's just funny. Hmm. A lottery ticket. Can't tell if it's a winner. It's so weird. It's like I just expect to see somebody in there. There's still creamers on the table, coffee creamers and stuff. That is so strange. Look at the canopy here. How weather beaten and torn up that is. Huh, weird. All right, let's go around the front again. 
Yeah, there's the sign, all covered up. And there's the big weir open sign. That is so weird. <laughs> that is just the strangest thing. I mean, if they have closed down, why did they not take that off the building? They've even got one up here. And I think there's one on the other side too. Yep. So weird. All right guys, well that's definitely strange. The mystery continues. There's the sign up there that's covered with the tarp. Weird.